What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Garage Topics. Today, we're talking about the Tundra. I've owned this thing for three and a half years, which is the longest I've ever owned a vehicle. Has it been good? Has it been reliable? Have I had any issues with it? That's what this video is for. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and watch and like this video and come back because I got more cool content for you. And if you're an OG, thanks for coming back and checking out the video. This is my 2005 Toyota Tundra uh, Double Cab Limited 4x4. I've had this for th over three and a half years now. It is the longest vehicle I've ever owned, which says a lot. Normally my average span of owning a car is probably a year and three quarters. The original video that really went viral was me comparing it to my Tacoma that I sold. Um, I'll go ahead and say it. I have zero regrets about making that decision. I still prefer these over even the brand new Tacoma. Sure, they've got more amenities like radar cruise control, et cetera, et cetera. But this Tundra for the size and it's like capability and engine. Oh man, it's so good. So uh, let me get a notepad to sh get out all of the issues that I've had with this Tundra. Spoiler alert, there's been zero. I've had this for three and a half years. You saw that I upgraded the suspension when I first bought it. So I put new lower ball joints, upper control arms, Bilstein suspension on it, new wheels and tires, et cetera, et cetera. Did the timing belt when I first got it because those are supposed to replace like 90,000, 100,000 miles and 10 year interval or less. So I did that just to keep it safe, keep it real. But since that, since when I bought it and put a bunch of money into just upkeep maintenance, I've literally not touched this thing. Since my two year video, the only change I have made has been the headlights and I made a video about that. These are, I believe, Yida branded ones. These have held up so much better than my original ones. The original ones were yellowed within six months. Uh, you, you can tell with the camera, these look great. And I, these are more OEM match, meaning they've got black and chrome. With the other ones, this whole section down there was black and it looked kind of odd. I couldn't really put my finger on it, but now I can. Looks incredible. And then the paint itself has held up tremendously. It's a little dirty because I've actually used it for truck stuff, but it is incredibly good. And like looking at the rock chips on the hood, there's almost none. There's like one there, one there. That's about it. I, I can't get over how old this truck is and how good it looks for how many miles and years it's been on it. I've got 112, 113,000 miles on it. So I, haven't, I don't drive it a ton. I bought it with 98,000 miles. So from 98,000 miles to 113,000 miles, zero issues. But I don't know, it's kind of low mileage for a Tundra, but I'm very happy with it. Typically when vehicles get older, they have some issues, but I had zero issues with this. The interior on this truck has held up the same since the last video a year and a half ago. Only issues I've got like as far as wear and tear is the steering wheel. Some previous owner has put one of those ball things on this. I'm guessing it was a geriatric person. And then at the top here, there's some slight wear going on, but nothing too bad. I get a lot of questions about the stereo setup. This is an 8.95 inch Sony stereo. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It is a floating stereo. I mean, it kind of doesn't sit in the double din section. It's bigger than that, but it is perfect. It doesn't block the vents at all. It butts right up to it. It's got this OEM sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell, but it, it works tremendously. And this truck came with an OEM uh, amplifier and such. So what you have to do is you, there's a specific wiring kit that you run all the way down here to the very back to basically bypass the amp. And uh, it's not too hard, but you do need to move some trim pieces out and, that's, and then when you're good to go. I went one step ahead of that and replaced the speakers. I, I did listen to it pre and post, and I'm not an audiophile, but I really don't think that was all that necessary. I, I didn't really mind the stock ones. So if you're not too crazy into sounds, the OEM speakers are just fine with an aftermarket head unit, in my opinion. But on that, yeah, the interior has held up great. The only time I touch this truck as far as like maintenance or just anything other than driving literally is to change oil. That's it. And putting water fluid in it. It's been so, so good. And I, uh, I can't believe how old this is and how new it feels as well. They really went above, a, above and beyond making this truck when they did. I think it was because there was a first effort at making a four door America style truck. And so they kind of needed to go big or go home with it. It's, it's unique because it's not typically, it's not really a half ton. It's like a set of what a three eighths ton kind of. It's smaller than a half ton, but not as small as a Tacoma's. It's a very unique spot. There's almost no other trucks that's that this size. You've got four doors, quad cab. You've got a six foot bed, four wheel drive. Um, it, it, it's big, don't get me wrong, but it's not huge. Uh, it's a great, great size. If I had to be nitpicky about issues on this, 
my like tailgate latch sometimes fritzes out, um, but I think I just need to take it off and clean it out or just make sure that all the clips are in place. But I mean, other than that, it just works. Um, another change that I've made, uh, but since the last video other than the headlights is this exhaust tip. Literally all it is is an exhaust tip. It's a floor massive tip. Uh, when it's clean, it looks really good, but it was just a stainless gross looking tip before. So I cut a little bit of it off, put this on and it's a bolt up tip too. So I didn't need to do any welding. So I think it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too out of place. It's kind of hard to make a long video about updates on this truck after three and a half years when literally nothing's gone wrong. So I hope someone that's considering buying one of these over at Tacoma or just they want a reliable truck that's not going to bankrupt them. This is the truck. I, I'm in such a better place financially owning this for three and a half years, four years now over having a car payment or anything like that. Like every month I get to save money from a car payment and save money from no having to do any crazy maintenance. It's, it's been incredible. And I don't know if it's me, maybe it was. These trucks have kind of gone up in value since the whole pandemic stuff, but in my opinion, out of proportion to everything else, the, they've ballooned. But look at this thing. I really, really enjoy it. It has been great. That's all I got for today's video. Just wanted to make a quick one. It's getting a little chilly out, so I gotta go inside here in a second, but there it is. Here's the Tundra. It is a solid buy if you're considering it. Just do it. The only thing you're gonna make sure is rust underneath. If they're rusty, no, no. But this thing is minty fresh. It's very, very clean. So if you got any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. But until then, catch you guys later. Peace out.